Good morning. Welcome to the channel. As you can see, it's a little nipply down here. I think we're about 50 degrees. I know, don't laugh at me, you northerns, don't laugh, but 50 degrees with a lot of moisture in there. It makes it cold with the wind. And I know y'all still gonna laugh at me. I see y'all up there with the negatives. I'm like, ooh, you know, but no, no, no. But I tell you, if you don't think we're tough, come down here and handle our humidity. In the summertime, we wear our hair. You feel it all over. You. But anyway, today's adventure, we're gonna take up the well point. Y'all seen all that go in? We're gonna back here, see if we can find, we're gonna fill in all the concrete around there. And then, we're gonna attempt to pour the spillway, at least part of the spillway here. Uh, we're still waiting for our lift station to go in, about where I'm standing. So we're gonna have a pumper truck out here, do 55 yards of concrete. Filling up the machines, that's where my dozer went, I was looking for. Um, and we're going to Benite the Pond. Benite's a natural clay substance, come out of West Texas, put it in the pond, it swells up and seals it off. We're hoping we can stop that. So that's today's project. Hope you like it, you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. As you can see here, we moving the Gaylords full of the Benite. It's at the capacity of the skid steer. Had to back down the hill to keep from rolling it down the hill. You can see the trouble he's having right now, trying to move around. Like I said, it's at the capacity of the skid steer. If all goes well, it handles it no problem. Get in a little ditch or something like that, get you off balance, it will tilt it over. But, little skill, little knowledge, and you can make it work with no problem safely. If you're putting it on the bottom of a dry pond, it's a good idea to mix it in with the soil. That's what we're doing here with the mini excavator. Now we have access to tillers and mixers and all that. And people are going to say, why don't you get it? As a owner, we own all of our machines out here so there's no rental on it. There is a cost in going to get a machine, bringing it to the job, doing the job, taking it back. If you don't own it, you have to rent it. This is one of the things we moved in that morning with the machines Saturday morning. We did the job, moved out. Sort of like run what you brung type deal. Here you can see the dozer operator mixing it in. Notice the light color. As he keeps turning and spinning around, notice that it can go to a uh, more of an earthy color, dark color, red. Just gotta get it mixed in there. And then after he pulls off, look back over what was already done and you'll see how much it returns back to an earth color. That's how you know you got it mixed well.
that concludes this video. It looks real good back here. Got it all in, got it done. Hope everybody likes it. Hope you hit the like button. Leave a comment. Hit the subscribe button. Do me a favor. Thanks, everybody.